welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I thought we'd do a matte smoky eye. A very simple one. It takes literally less than 10 minutes and it's something that you can wear when you're going for a party, when you don't want to look too blingy but still look sexy with the eye and everything. This would be the look for you. Let's get to it! First off, I'm going to prep my face because of this whole RMO thing. I have not had time to go and thread my eyebrows or get toner. My toner is definitely finished but um, it's okay. We can still work it out. I still have my moisturizer. I'm just gonna go in with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. Yes, it is gel based. And I'm just gonna apply that um, all over my face. I've moisturized my face. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna bring you in closer. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows. Obviously, they are terrible. They look like a forest. But it's because I have not gone threading for a while, as you all might know. So I'm going to show you guys how I conceal my eyebrows um, and I shape them. So first things first, obviously I'm going to brush through the hair, the eyebrow hair. And then I'm just going to take my eyebrow pencil and I am using Cyber Colors um, eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just lining it underneath first and I kind of just do it there and then I do the top and then I fill in the end and then I bring it in and I fill it in slightly. Once that's done, just brush it through. Then, take a flat brush like this and your concealer. So I'm using my NYX concealer in the shade Neutral Tan. And I'm just taking that brush and I'm going to carve out how I want my eyebrows to look. So as you all know, I like super thin 90s eyebrows. I've always liked that. It's not a thing, but I like it. And I'm just drawing that line, as you can see. Okay, so once I've done that, I just brush even on top of the eyebrow a little bit, like that. Okay, so leave that and do the other side. As you can see, there is a little bit of concealer on the eyebrow hair, so just take your spoolie again and brush it through. Okay, so it's been brushed through and we're going to go straight into the eyes. Taking my primer, always prime your eyelids guys, even if you're not oily um, like me. Just prime your eyelids. There is no harm in priming your eyelids, okay? Um, I'm using the Too Faced Primer in the shade... In the shade? I'm using the Too Faced... Too Faced... What is wrong with me? Okay. I am using the Too Faced Primer um, called Shadow Insurance. It is literally my holy grail. This is the only primer I use because I realize it works for me. Also, if I'm not mistaken, this only costs 99 ringgit. Not only, it's expensive. But it can last me around a year and a half. So I don't think it's that bad. Okay, so obviously I'm just gonna go in with the palette I already have. You guys have seen this palette a million times. And it is the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay which looks like this. Now, the colors that I'm gonna use, Riff, which is this brown here, I'm going to be using Punk, and I'm going to be using Weekend, which is this uh, beigey color here. Right, so it's Weekender and not Weekend, my bad. 
So what we're gonna do is very easy. Take a fluffy brush, dip it into Riff, which is the light brown, and you're just gonna apply that on your crease, on, in, in your crease, on your crease. Ooh, my mom's an English teacher. She's not gonna be happy with that. And obviously, I am holding the end of my brush because I want a very soft um, application. I don't want so much pressure. And I'm just buffing that out into my crease. Then take a dense pencil looking brush, dip it into your dark brown shade and apply that in the outer corner of your eye. I'm not bringing it out, I'm just applying it in a small V, like a triangle. So here, here and here and I'm just intensifying it a little bit. Like I said, I'm not bringing it out, I'm just keeping it in that area the best I can. Going back in with the brush that you use for Riff, I'm just going to soften it a little bit and blend it outwards. Okay. Then you can decide whether you want to cut your crease or you don't want to. I am going to cut my crease because I kind of like the way it looks and it's not that harsh because obviously it's a matte color so you can actually blend it in with your crease color so it's not so bad. So you all know how to cut your crease but I'm just going to, I'm just going to remind you all or like let you all know how to cut your crease. So I just want to let you all know, obviously I am not a makeup artist, but I do learn from makeup artists. People like Robert Welsh that you all would know, he's crazy famous, he's like crazy famous online on YouTube. I also learn makeup from people like, um, people who work at MAC or people who work in YCON um, because obviously I used to do musical theatre and I used to do a lot of shows and MAC used to well, MAC makeup artists used to do our makeup for us and that's how I learned about makeup as well. So it's all from learning. It's not from actually being a makeup artist at all. Not at all. But I can just kind of convey to you guys what I have learned and hopefully it helps you too. So what I do is to create my cut crease, I look straight in my mirror. Let me do it for the way. Okay, so this is my mirror and I look straight ahead and I go in from the middle first. Can you see that? And I create a line as to where I want my cut crease. Can you guys see that? Once that's done, I fill it in. and I blend out. So I get something that looks like this. As you can see, it is cut and I blend out the outside and I make it slightly higher than my actual eyelid. Let me bring you all in closer. Because if I look straight ahead, you can see exactly where the cut crease is. If I were to cut it exactly where my eyelid stops, you wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so I've cut my crease. I'm just gonna go back in with Punk, um, the dark brown shade, and I'm just gonna apply that right there. Then I'm gonna go back in with Riff. And I'm also gonna apply it right here. Then apply Weekender all over your lid wherever you have not put eyeshadow yet. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to blend that in with Riff 
into my crease. Okay, so this is basically the eyes kind of done. Very simple, very easy. Now I'm just gonna do the rest of my face and I will be right back to go back to the eyes. So I've just gone ahead and done my face. Let me just explain to you guys what I used. For foundation, I use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Tahoe. So it's this shade. And then I use my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Same thing, put two dots inside and one dot outside. Used my finger and blended it out. What else? Um, used my NARS blush in the shade Taos and my NARS bronzer in the shade Casino. And then to powder my whole face, I used the Fit Me Maybelline powder in the shade Toffee Caramel. And that's kind of it really. Okay, so for the eyes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the color Punk, which is the dark brown, and I'm going to apply that on the outer bottom lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the same brush and I'm going to take the color Riff and put it all over. Okay, so the eyeshadow is on. I am just going to do the rest of my face and I will be right back. And I'm back! So I've just put on Wycon Mascara and Pump Up Booster by Miss Sporty. I did not use my Maybelline um, Lash Multiplying Mascara. I just used two mascaras today. And for my lips, I put on um, Sleek Matte Me in the shade Rioja Red or Rioja Red, whichever. And I mixed it with my NARS lipstick in the shade Slow Ride. Yeah. And um, this is the final look. So if you like this look, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, write down comments below, let me know what you guys want to see next, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. So, bye!